Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Luz and we are taking this video from my home studio in the Netherlands. And first I want to say thank you for the many, many views on this channel, your subscriptions and your lovely comments. Uh, I've been enjoying all of it. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do so and make sure you turn on the notification bell so you won't miss the next video. After a brief introduction, I will show you my brand new art journal. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Let me take a moment to introduce myself. Uh, so I'm Luz, I'm living in the Netherlands, close to Amsterdam. I'm having my home studio here. I'm a painter and I'm also having studio lessons um, weekly. We have an art journal course, we have a painting class for uh, adults and I have uh, children and it's a lovely job to do. And I also have some online classes on my school, Brave Art Academy. I'm painting on canvas and recently I discovered art journaling. So as you have seen in my previous videos, I've been showing a lot of art journals. And now I will, in this video, tell you something more about my most recent work. And I will also, in, in upcoming videos, I will share with you more techniques, tutorials, uh, time lapses, uh, also from my whole painting process. And my process as an artist so if you have some requests please let me know then we are going to make a video of it so now i'm going to show you my art journal so this was my first page um, which i started with december last year it's all about landscapes and you see this is also kind of um, beginning with my new color palette and this was something that I did last year as well. It was based on a pond with water lilies with a beautiful sunset. And then this was a page that I created for the online class Weaving and Unraveling. And in this I used a lot of fabrics, uh, weaving techniques, sewing techniques. So Take a look at my online school. I will put the link in the description. Uh, if you really want to integrate textiles, threads, wool in your art pieces. This is not only for doing an art journal, but you can do it on canvas as well. You see that everything that I created on this page continues on this page as well. This was about a week um, that we had uh, our vine harvest so we had a lot of grapes also I had a wonderful insight you are your own safety net and this thing is actually the safety net that I wanted to create and also there were some things that I found that I and that I uh, made a drawing of and here this leaf I found and this pattern I created so this was just um, oh a chapter of my life and this was a page, the moment that the fall began. And it has also to do something with falling and some things I have still to add. So here will be something. There was also a full moon and I found this feather. I love this piece of fabric. So maybe here I, there will be something that I do. And here was still a little bird eating a grape. And this was the page uh, that I created from the first lesson in my uh, studio. I have a group of art journal students who come here every Wednesday. And the first um, assignment was to draw or paint some things that had to do with fall and I had some lovely pumpkins so they were on the table and most of the students chose the pumpkins. Uh, here I, maybe I do a mushroom or something, it's not filled yet. I also had some patterns and I had a dried leaf 
with kind of a skeleton leaf because most of it is already gone. And this was the second lesson and we were about to make mini collage with a few colors that, uh, what, that really appeal to you and, uh, well, grab things out of magazines, uh, use some fabrics, making patterns, stamping leaves, well, all techniques combined. And this was my page, but the ones from my students were very differently uh, depending on their colors, their compositions, and it's a very nice way to spread out all your ideas and maybe work something out on a larger scale in future. This was our third lesson and it had all to do with the things um, that you can open and close, like mini books, like this one. You can open and there's something in it. That's an idea for next year, so I keep it in. I also want to add some paintings that I've been working on. I also have my um, music player here. This is my uh, music playlist. This is from Jessica Hoop, Joan Shelley, Adrian Lenker, Mowgli and Muriel Bosdorp which is a friend of mine and she really composes lovely music. I also have a television. This is what we've been recently watching. This is the wonderful series of The Mac and I on Netflix. And I really enjoyed this series because we had, there were a lot of patterns in it, a lot of beautiful people. And I thought the storyline was really great. So on the back, you can change the movie, like this, and then we have Expedition Happiness. This was a sto short story uh, from Roald Dahl, Poison, and we really enjoy these uh, movies uh, produced by Wes Anderson. It's really great, also wonderful patterns in it and really great pop-up uh, sceneries. It was really, well, a joy to watch these ones. This was just one out of them. I think there are three or four, but they are lovely. This one was one called Supernova. I also enjoyed this one a lot. And finally, in my book, I created a mini art journal, a mini book, and I enjoyed this one so much that I set myself a goal to create one for every month or so. This one is really about friendship and memories with people that I don't want to forget. So I used all kind of things that I found that I created at the moment that I, that I did it. I really love using the calendar of my parents. Having cups of coffees with friends using real tea, using some pictures out of magazines, using the serviettes. So this is my mini book. I don't want to forget. This was a page that I created with just paper and just a few painted elements. It was all created. I think it's all created with paper. Maybe a bit of the background I created with paint. But I think these are all papers with leaves in it, pattern papers. Oh, and this one you can turn, you can open, and then you have the television again. 
this was another assignment for uh, the art journal class in my studio, creating a landscape with maybe a house, but using all kinds of techniques, but just doing a landscape. And um, this landscape was created with a palette knife, also some pieces of paper, some, I think, threads. On the right page, I did some other landscapes and the burlap pages are really good to uh, work on with a palette knife because you can really dip the paint into the holes and it's getting, well, it's getting a wonderful texture. You could also do it with paper and first put some paper on it and then do paint, paint on it. And I'm sorry, I'm having a cold and my voice is not as it's uh, normally, so um, I hope it will go away soon. This page I already created last year and I continued working with it, but I didn't like this page, so I put some new paint on it. I can work layer by layer. That's a good thing about acrylic paint. I also cut off a part of the page because I really wanted to let the three the tree already uh, come through and here you can see a part of this page as well maybe this is not finished yet but I will see where it goes it's a kind of wintry autumn thing so it's really uh, yeah, you can really see what season it is when you are browsing through the art journal on this page I already added some things like these things and these were the basis of my color palette for this page and I just continue with pasting things, adding things that are well going well together with these little color swatches. So the background is having the green, the blue of this is in the flowers, the, the pink of this is already coming back there and there. So everywhere there are connections throughout the page. It's kind of abstract with um, elements of nature in it, like flowers and berries. This was another assignment for my art journal class and this was make an uh, insect hotel. And the, uh, this one is called Insect, like Holiday Inn. Like, uh, there's also a mini book again, and it's about bees. So this is the pot with the gold with honey in it. These are the bees. It's just a piece of wallpaper that you can get for free in the hardware store. And some printing techniques, I use a lot of printing techniques. Um, for the background I used a big piece of wallpaper, I cut out the flower shapes or leaf shapes and then I printed it on the page. And also in the hotel itself I used a lot of techniques using wallpaper, using stamps, using patterns. I created everything with mainly printing techniques. So it was a lot of fun to do this page. Uh, I had to do my background over and over because I fell in love with this part. But first this had another color. So I had to uh, change all of my background. So I had a lot of things to do with printing and doing the background. And I really felt like, hmm, I don't want to draw some insects anymore. And then I found this beautiful, this be beautiful butterflies on our wine. So it's also very lovely wine and I used the butterflies, I cut them out and pasted them on the page. And maybe there will be coming some more butterflies when I finished this wine. This was another assignment for my art class, my art journal class on Wednesday. And the subject was coffee and tea. So I used um, real tea, well, uh, herbal tea. I used the tea sacks. I used coffee patterns, uh, coffee beans. I used all kinds of things. I used 
Uh, I wanted to make cappuccino because I really love drinking cappuccino. And these wonderful mugs we have from a friend in Belgium, Ilse Teunissen from Pot & Co. So I really loved bringing them in. I'm, I prefer to have them a bit larger, but well, they turned out like this, so it's just how it is. Here were some more landscapes, and this was the one with the house. Hmm. Something on the roof, I don't know what it was, but... And this was a page about being a weekend alone. Anthony was away to his son in Latvia, and I created a selfie. And of course, I wanted to have battle Pearl, our cat, on it, and here I was walking uh, a path with footsteps, and I'm walking right into a new page of a brand new book. And this was the next assignment for my art journal group, and it was inspired by the Dutch artist Jopie Huisman. He was a collector of old clothes and shoes, but he was also a magnificent painter. And I, also he did a lot of shoes, uh, also hands and feet. So it's very inspired to look at this work. And I wanted to give my shoes an ode to my shoes. I'm walking barefoot for uh, already almost four years now. I started with this, these ones from Merrill and I really still love these sneakers. I wanted to do the laces with, uh, well, with, with fabrics, with a real lace. So I had to make some things um, to, to put them in. I don't know if you can see it, but it was quite of a job finding these ones that were not too thick for this page. And these are my Conquer shoes, and these are really my favorites. It's from a brand from the United Kingdom in Devon, Conquer, and you can customize your own shoes. So you can choose the color, you can choose uh, the, the, the stitch work, you can choose the soles, and they already have a barefoot option. So for me, this was pretty perfect. It was also lovely to uh, display my shoes in different ways, uh, look from them at different angles and decide what would be the best way to get them on my canvas. So it was wonderful to do this thing. Oh, and finally, this box is an old uh, box with all kind of um, tools to, uh, to clean your shoes. And this is the last page that I'm going to be showing you today. And it's all about a dream that came true. Because last summer we've been to Rêve, which is a wonderful estate in the south of France, Aveyron area. And we decided to arrange a painting retreat, art general retreat for a Dutch and Belgium audience. And we um, had a lot of planning uh, last month and do a lot of social media and it's really taking place. So this was kind of a page about that. Very calming, I want to have it like pet with patterns, with maybe I want to do to add something more here about the dream. And this is an old page from a French book. It's from 1901. And I really love that Rev was there as well. And if you turn the page, there's an unfinished face and an old record player. So I wanted to, to keep that one. So I didn't add any paper of myself on it. So this is the last page from my brand new art journal that's called Home, because I'm, I've been making it all at home. So this is it. For this time, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.